I'm right here in the Global Prayer Center where hundreds of people join us on a weekly basis and thousands of people join us online for one of the largest prayer meetings in the world. Now, if you would like to submit a prayer request, you can go to perrystone.org pray and you will see the form there to fill out to submit your prayer request. That will be reviewed this week and your prayer request will be aired the following week. So as we go into this prayer meeting together, we hope that you will find a good place to pray and join us as all of these intercessors from around the world join together to pray for one another. God bless you. Thank you for joining us today here at the Global Prayer Center where we are praying for you as we pray for the world, the country, and many other prayer requests that come into us each week. If you would like to be a partner with us or help us in this task, we have a way that you can give. You can go to perrystone.org and donate there, or here on your screens, there is a place where you can give, and that will help to continue to support the Global Prayer Center helps take care of the cost of the facility, the staff, and all of the live streaming so that we can continue to bring this to you and to the nations every single week. Thank you for joining one of the largest and most powerful prayer meetings in the world today. Thank you for being a part of this. God bless you, and we love you. I'm right here in the Global Prayer Center where hundreds of people join us on a weekly basis and thousands of people join us online for one of the largest prayer meetings in the world. Now, if you would like to submit a prayer request, you can go to perrystone.org pray 
and you will see the form there to fill out to submit your prayer request. That will be reviewed this week and your prayer request will be aired the following week. So as we go into this prayer meeting together, we hope that you will find a good place to pray and join us as all of these intercessors from around the world join together to pray for one another. God bless you. Thank you for joining us here at the Global Prayer Center. We have people arriving right now for prayer and this room is beginning to fill up with intercessors. We're gonna go before the Lord in just a few moments in prayer. We hope that you will get out your Bible, maybe get out your oil or your prayer shawl, however you love to pray and find you a place for the next hour as we approach the throne of God together. It's great to have all of you here tonight at the Global Prayer Center, and we're getting ready to start our prayer time together, so if everyone can find your place, and um, we're going to have a, a time of corporate prayer together as well as uh, individuals who will be leading us in prayer. But I wanted, to, I wanted to draw your attention to two things in particular. Um, hopefully many of you tonight were given this on your way in. If not, we have them available. If someone could lay these uh, even up at the front if you didn't get one. Hopefully everyone got one when you came in. These are called prayer points. And these prayer points are specifically for Warrior Fest. So we're asking everyone that in your prayer time tonight as you're walking around or kneeling, however you choose to pray, that you would help us pray these particular prayer points. We have sent these out to pastors and youth pastors also who will be bringing young people. Uh, this year is very unique in the fact that we have people coming from Europe, uh, bringing youth groups all the way from Europe and Canada, and um, the Lord is just drawing them in. If there's ever been a time that our young people need to be on fire for the Lord, it is now because of all the other mixed messages that they're receiving. They need the word of the Lord in them more than ever before. So we're hoping that you will pray these prayer points in your prayer time as well. And for those of you that were at OCI on Tuesday night, um, you heard uh, Pastor Tony Suarez preach, and wow, what a great service we had. And um, one of the things that I, I just spoke with Tony today, actually several times today, he is already at the border and they're getting ready to drive the border over a, a 1,200 miles and uh, in vans with prayer warriors and they're praying the entire border between Mexico and Texas. And then also they're doing three different tent revivals for several days. 
And so one of the prayers that came up uh, as we laid hands upon him and prayed is we were praying that the Lord would give protection, that the Lord would actually save cartel members in that region, that they would come to the Lord and turn their lives around. And the, the work they were doing for the enemy, they would turn that same energy into work for the Lord. So he is believing for a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. He's already there. Their first service is tonight, by the way. So this is perfect timing for prayer. And uh, so I wanted him to know that we would be interceding for him. Now we have prayers coming in from all around the world that are on the uh, that are on the the TVs above you on all the screens around the room. So please, at some point in time, take time to pray for all of these prayer needs that are coming in, as well as our prayer station. So if you can. Uh, if you're physically able, I would love for you at some point in time just to have a touch point with each of these prayer stations. If you just walk by them or if you choose to go there and sit and pray. And we have all kinds of things to remind us to pray about. And then at the end, if you need prayer tonight, we'll have a time to minister to the body of Christ here this evening. So we're going to start, as we always do, with a time of worship. And I'm going to ask you to stand, if you will. We're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. And as as the Lord's Prayer leads us in our Father who art in heaven, we're going to begin by just worshiping the Lord. And Jenna's here tonight, and she's going to lead us in a prophetic song. And um, so for the first 15 minutes or so, we're just going to soak in the presence of the Lord. And I want you to feel comfortable. This is a spirit-filled prayer meeting, so do whatever you're comfortable. If you want to walk around and pray, I'm a prayer walker myself, so that's how I like to do it. But if you want to kneel, however you want to pray, we just want you to be comfortable. I want to say to all the thousands of people that join us online, we know you're there. We thank God for you. We're so thankful that you are so faithful to pray with us each week in your living rooms. And some of you are online now and some of you are at work and you're going to log on later on and pray with us because this does stay up on YouTube. And many of you would join us whenever you're able to do that. But uh, we have so many people that write in and tell us I'm a part of global prayer. I mean, I am amazed at how often I hear from people in all parts of the world that say I never miss global prayer. And uh, one lady that uh, I know very well who just recently turned 80, and I was just wishing her happy birthday, and she said, listen, I see you every week. She calls me Pastor B. I, call, I see you every week, Pastor B, on global prayer. I never miss. So she said, I'm always there and, and a time for prayer for you. So you never know who's, who's joining us in our faith. So tonight, as we pray for all of the needs, as we pray for the world around us and all these prayer stations, we want you to also lift up OCI. We want you to lift up VOE. We want you to lift up ISO. And, uh, and then in particular, let's pray for Tony Suarez and this meeting at the border for the next 11 days. Let's pray for that in particular. I'm, we're praying fire on the border. So we're just wanting God to just set it all ablaze and let revival, true, real revival break out on the, uh, around the border. So that, this is something the Lord has called him to do. And then let's take our prayer stations and pray for Warrior Fresh. That's a lot of praying. So you have a lot of assignments tonight. So let's Let's stay in there together and let's see it through to the end. Let's begin with the Lord's Prayer together tonight. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now for the next few moments, can you just find a place and worship the Lord and as Jenna leads us in this time of worship together. We bless your name, Father. We bless your name.
beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing can stand against. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. Beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is, nothing can stand against. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. Yes, your name on the You didn't want heaven without us, so Jesus, you've brought heaven down. My sin was great, your love was greater. Oh, what could separate us now? What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is, nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a wonderful name. over the border. What a powerful name. What a powerful name, Jesus. What a powerful name it is. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing can stand again. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a powerful name it is, the name of Jesus. Hell doesn't stand a chance. No enemy stands a chance. The name of Jesus. The name. 
No sickness can stand against your name. No other God can stand against your name. Jesus, Jesus, let's sing his name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Father, we welcome you here tonight as our God, as our creator, <laughs> our deliverer, our healer, the lover of our soul. We bless you tonight, Lord. We bless your holy name. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless the name of God tonight. Hallelujah. We honor the name Jehovah. We honor the name Yahweh. We honor the name Jesus. We are gathered together in His name tonight. We bless you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we come tonight to bind up the brokenhearted. In the name of Jesus, old wounds, past hurts, broken pieces. Father, I pray tonight that you do heart surgery. That you do spiritual heart surgery, emotional heart surgery. Even things in our own lives, God, that we've just carried. And thinking this is just the way it's going to be. Father, I pray for a supernatural restoration of our hearts and our spirits from every attack of the enemy, from every war, God, that we fought in our spirit that left us broken. Father, I pray, God, those pieces be put back together. Father, I pray for broken relationships tonight, friendships, God, that went awry, misunderstandings God that the enemy took and went way too far with it Father we call those things back in the spirit of God to restore God relationships restore our homes Father I thank you Lord the spirit of truth touch our loved ones God words that were said that need to be repaired I pray a spirit of truth come on our loved ones, God, that they would know, Father, that we love them and that Jesus loves them <laughs> and that Jesus has never failed us. Jesus has never failed us. <laughs> so, Father, I pray right now for families, Lord, that are going through difficulties and relationships, that the balm of Gilead flow through that home. And we pray for a spirit of peace to take over, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for a spirit of peace to come in with that spirit of restoration, God, and touch, God, every member of our family, every member of our home. And that, God, that that atmosphere in our homes, God, would turn and faith, God, would begin to grow in a big way, God. And, God, where the enemy brought in those thoughts of defeat, and, God, where he lined them up like a freight train, and it was one thought after another, God, about how things weren't going to turn out right. Father, I pray for the Spirit of truth, that Holy Spirit of God, to come in, Lord, and to say, I am the God that healeth thee. I am the restorer, hallelujah, of the waste places. I pray for thoughts of victory to line up, God, and to come through and to break down every strategy of the enemy tonight. God, send them our way by your Spirit. Send thoughts, God, that encourage us to stand on the, on the faith that was built by Christ Jesus. 
and that, God, we will see the victory in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray for physical healing tonight. In the name of Jesus, God, strength came into the ankles of the crippled man. (laughs) He felt strength coming into his feet. When the disciples said, such as I have, I give unto you. So, Father, tonight we pray for that children's bread to touch God. Every person listening tonight, every person in the sound of my voice, whether in this auditorium or online tonight, Lord, we break the children's bread tonight, the bread of healing because of Jesus Christ. And, God, I pray for any kind of skin condition right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, whatever it is on that skin, whatever disorder it is, whether it's a cancer, whether it's a a, a dry patch, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, by the power in his name, we pray healing over that body. In Jesus' name. Father, we pray for eyes tonight. Hallelujah. We pray for people, God, that are having trouble with vision, Lord. In the name of Jesus, restore that eyesight by the power in the name of Jesus. Let eyesight be restored tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let the letters on the screens, let the letters on the TV and the images be be clearer tonight than they were before in Jesus' name. By the power that is in the precious name of Jesus, let us see it, Father. Hallelujah. Blood pressure tonight in Jesus' name. We, we call blood pressure under the power of Jesus. And we pray for normal blood pressure on, on every person in the sound of my voice. That God change, Lord, through your power, the physical body tonight. Let the children's bread, God, be eaten, Lord. We're hungry for the healing. We're hungry, God, for the change, God, that we can see and that we can feel. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray for full restoration of kidneys tonight in the name of Jesus. Full restoration for kidney function in the name of Jesus. Every person under the sound of my voice, let those kidneys begin to function at a greater rate and a greater power. And let the blood in the name of Jesus in those bodies become to be filtered and purified just like God intended. That there is healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That pancreas in Jesus' name. That insulin problem. That insulin, uh, what is it called? Uh, Resistance. Thank you. Insulin resistance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be loosed from insulin resistance on those bodies in Jesus. Expect the doses to go down. Expect the doses to be less than they were before you came tonight. Expect something to change in Jesus' name. Because there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Bless you, sir. Bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we pray against depression. God, any kind of mental attack on people, that that stormy, gloomy cloud, God, that's hovering around so long, God, that we begin to think this must be normal. It's not normal. I proclaim liberty tonight in the name of Jesus. I proclaim liberty over your life in Jesus' name that you'll have ideas come to you that says, why can't I get up and do these things? Why can't I go and accomplish something I've never thought I could before? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I proclaim liberty tonight. Hallelujah. Depression. Bow to the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. As, those, as the strength came into that crippled man, let God's strength begin to come into our brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Let them feel strength in their body, Lord. And we bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Heavenly Father, I pray for joy. It's one thing, Father, for us to get the cup clean and the, and the broken pieces put back together again. But it's not doing what it was supposed to do if it doesn't have some sweet tea or some lemonade or, 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 or something good inside that vessel. 
So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, abundant life come upon every person in the sound of my voice that they will have laughter in their homes, that the hallways and the bedrooms and the kitchens will hear the, the sounds of joy that will come through that home because we can't have the good and acceptable things from God. We believe we can, Father, because of Jesus Christ. Let it be so. Let us expect it, God, when we wake up in the morning. Just like if it was Christmas morning, Jesus is alive tomorrow. Just like He was alive, just like He was born on Christmas Day. In the morning, God, I pray for a spirit of celebration to greet us as our feet hit the carpet. Why can't I celebrate Jesus when I wake up in the morning? Why can't I expect a good day to welcome me when I wake up in the morning? In Jesus' mighty name. So, Father, I pray a spirit of celebration come upon that, 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 that living room and that kitchen and that bedroom. And as we walk down those stairs, we walk into that other room in the morning, God, let us rejoice for what God has done. I remember, Lord, where I was at. I remember, God, how lost I was. <laughs> and I remember being surprised at how nice you were. I knew a God of judgment, but I'd never met the friend, Jesus. Lord, you said, I didn't call you servants, I called you friends. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus is my best friend. Jesus is my healer. The broken heart has been mended. The sicknesses and the diseases have been conquered and defeated. The joy of the Lord has been placed upon my life. Hallelujah. We bless you, Heavenly Father, tonight. We bless this ministry. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those leaders, God, and those workers and those volunteers of, over what's about to take place in the next few weeks. That, Father, I pray, Lord, for energy and power to come upon their lives, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray, God, for that conduit that's a conduit of the Holy Spirit of God. When those young people come into, this, come into that auditorium, God, that, Lord, we will be used and we will see their lives transformed. We'll see them filled with that Holy Spirit. We'll see them speaking in other tongues. We'll see people delivered, God, and set free. We'll see people healed, God, body, mind, and spirit. And, God, we thank you for it. We bless you for it tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. And teach us, God, to appreciate the quiet times. Lord, I like the shout. I like the party. I think it's like a water slide when that Holy Spirit starts flowing. I want to be on it, God. I want to ride that Holy Ghost water slide when they start coming through, Lord. It's the, one of the greatest blessings in my life is to see so many young people touched by your hand. But Father, help us to understand how to get rest and how to prepare ourselves, God, for the next few days. Give us that rest, God. Give us that time, God, that quiet time that's precious, that restores our soul. We ask it tonight. In the great and mighty name of Jesus, I pray divine revelation over these ministers that, God, when they begin to speak your word and your messages, God, captives will be set free. I pray, God, the, a, a hedge of protection around their lives and around their families, God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, no evil shall come nigh their dwelling, and the blessing of the Lord shall overtake them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the volunteers and these staffs, God, that, Lord, that you would touch their children, God. God has not forgotten your labor of love to the saints and I pray God for the children God of these workers God these families God that so many of these people have picked up and brought here God trusting you with them God don't forget them I want to see those babies sitting there God filled I want to see their babies God shouting and running and singing God for you Lord I want to see those mamas and daddies weeping because of what they saw you do because they dared to trust you with their entire life and God, you are faithful. You are faithful tonight. Hallelujah. 
Father, we give you praise and thanks, God. You're worthy of praise. You're worthy of honor, God. Father, right now, Lord, as Tony and his team, Father, Lord, are going across the southern border, Father, God. God, in the natural, God, where, where we failed to put up the wall, Father, Lord, the border, Father. God, I ask you, God, that just like in Genesis, God, you put cherub around, Father, Lord. Lord, to guard the way, God. God, as they go into this area, God, God, I ask you, to Lord, to release angel armies, God. Father, Lord, for there is more with us than are against us, God. God, I ask you to align that border, Lord, with your angel armies, God. Let them have the flaming sword, God. And God, I ask you, God, Lord, that as the revival begins to happen, in God. Lord, where people had one way that they thought that they were going to come and destroy this nation, God. God, I ask you, God, that you would bring restoration, God. Lord, that you would arrest their hearts, God, and turn their hearts back to you, God. God, I ask you, God, Lord, for the drug dealers, God. God, let them have an encounter with Yeshua, God. God, I ask you, Lord, that you would move, Lord, Lord, upon them, God. And I pray, God, that you would bring a supernatural protection around them, God. Lord, that you would give them words to speak, God, into the atmosphere of that area, God, to bring a radical transformation over that border, God. Lord, that lives begin to change, God. And God, not only, Lord, as they bring this revival, God, but we ask you, God, for everlasting change upon that border, God. Lord, that even when they leave, God, Lord, let your presence and your inhabitation dwell over that area, God. Lord, that people would come and encounter you, God. Lord, into a fresh relationship, God. And God, I ask you, God, for many souls to come into your kingdom, God. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you would move now, God, that you would go before them, God, across that border, Lord, and open doors that that no man can shut. Lord, open hearts, God, and draw them unto you, God. Lord, that they would encounter your presence, God. Lord, in healing, in deliverance, God, in salvation, God, I ask you to move now, God. Lord, give them the words to speak, God. Lord, give them the words to release in the atmosphere, Lord, that's going to bring about change, that's going to bring about deliverance, God, that's going to bring about protection on our borders, God. And God, God, I just thank you now, and I give you praise for that, God. God, I ask you now, Father Lord, across your bride, Father Lord. Lord, where the enemy has come like a flood, God. Lord, your word says that you raise up a standard against it, God. Father, as we're coming in to this weekend, Lord, of Purim, God. Lord, it, it is a story, God. Lord, where it looked like there was going to be an annihilation, Father Lord, of a people group, God. But God, your sovereign hand begin to move God and Lord what the enemy meant for evil Lord it was turned around and it was turned for good God in just one day God Lord you turned it Lord and Lord that those that wanted to destroy the nation of Israel God Lord wrath came to them God and it was returned Father God but Lord I ask you God Lord that there's been a bride God that has stood and stood and stood and stood Father Lord in faith God believe in God that you are going to come through God Lord where one after another attack of the enemy where he came in like a thief God Lord and attacked your body God but Lord that they have stand Lord and they said Lord that we're going to stand for we believe your word for your word is yes and amen God Lord that we've not seen it happen yet God but we still believe God that you are the God of all power Lord that you are where our help comes from God so God I ask you now Father Lord bring revival to your bride God restore Lord everything that the enemy meant for evil God Lord that just in the time of Mordecai God Lord where, where he said Father Lord there came a time Father Lord 
where the king came in and he began to read it, God. Lord, let the prayers of the saints become before you, Lord. Lord, let the altar of incense, Father, rise before you, God. Lord, where promises that have looked dead, God, I speak resurrection life over them, God. Lord, where situations that they've dealt with, God, look meek, Lord. Lord, that they look, God, Lord, that it's impossible, God. I thank you, God, that you are a God of the impossible, God. Lord, that your promises are yes and amen, that it's not by might nor by power, but it's by your spirit, God. Lord, I thank you, God, Lord, that we can shout grace, grace, and every mountain shall become a plain, God. So, God, I ask you, God, whatever your bride is dealing with this in this hour, God, Lord, the mountain looks unstable unstoppable Father Lord but I thank you God Lord that you give us the praise Lord to ascend the holy hill to ascend the holy mountain God Lord that we can come to a place in your presence God where we are above the snake line God so God I ask you God now Father Lord Lord that you would move across your bride now Father Lord Lord that you would give them the wisdom Lord and the understanding to walk in your ways God Father I ask you God that you would equip them for this hour, God. For it says in Ephesians, Lord, that every spiritual gift is inside of us, God. And God, I ask you, Lord, that you would release the dove on your bride now, Father Lord. Release the gifts, Father Lord, that you have put in them for this hour, God. Lord, that you have not called them to sit, God, but you called them, Father Lord, to rise and shine for their light has come, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon them, for darkness covers this world and deep darkness darkness its people but the Lord shall rise upon you and Lord I just ask you God Lord that you would just put a signet ring upon your bride God Lord that we would know Lord that those now Lord who truly serve you God Father I pray Father Lord now Father Lord let us come Father Lord into the season God that you have placed before us God Lord where the, the patriarchs Father Lord and the saints of past Lord they look on in heavenly places God and see this day God but Lord I thank you God Lord that you could have put anybody in this season God but you chose us God you chose us to be the generation that sees the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit God may we rise in this hour Lord and take our place God as sons and daughters as ambassadors to your kingdom God may we rise Lord with the authority Lord that you have given us for your word says you have given us the authority to trample serpents and scorpions and over every scheme of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm us Father right now Father Lord you have brought redemption from the curse of the law God Lord where the enemy has come in and he thought that he had us Lord I just ask you now Lord that you would strengthen your bride God that we would rise and soar like the eagles once again God Lord that we would be your true ecclesia your governing body on this world God Lord that every place that our foot stands steps God let us take territory from the enemy God Lord every stronghold we declare God Lord that the weapons that we have are not carnal but they're mighty in God for the tearing down of strongholds Lord that every high and lifted thing Lord Lord that comes against your name Father Lord we call it now into the obedience of Christ God God we ask you now Father Lord Father Lord that you would move across your body Father Lord Father in the name of Jesus I bind every demonic hindrance in the name of Jesus. Every hindering spirit that has stepped us, God, I declare no limits. No longer can the enemy have his way. We will not be tossed by the waves, but we look up for our help and our redemption draweth nigh, God. God, I thank you, Lord, that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is alive in us and it quickens our mortal body, God. God, that when we come into situations, Lord, Holy Spirit, we invite you give us the words to speak Lord that as we speak your word Lord that not one word will return to you void but it shall accomplish everything Lord that it's been sent out for Lord Lord I thank you God that you look after your word
word to perform it, God. Lord, I thank you, God. Lord, that the enemy may have had his way, God, but Lord, you have set us up for our greatest hour, Lord. Father, Lord, for you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You have already went before us, God, and seen the end from the beginning, God. You have already prepared our way of escape, God, our deliverance, God. You are our deliverer, God. God, we thank you, God, that you are a delivering God. Lord, that you provide a way, Lord. Lord, when you provide a sacrifice, God. Lord, when we didn't think there was anything, God, that we had left, God. Lord, I thank you that you strengthen us, Lord. Lord, that you renew us, God. God, I ask you, God, that you would move across your body now, Father Lord. And Father Lord, I bind, Father Lord, the spirit of fear. Your word says, God, that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. God, may we move in the power of the Holy Spirit. May we unite as a body, Father Lord, in true unity, Lord. For your word says, Father Lord, love is the perfect bond of unity, God. Lord, let us love one another, God. Lord, let us put differences aside, God, to fulfill your kingdom purposes. God, I thank you, God. Lord, that we're going from a church age to a kingdom age, God. God, let your kingdom, Lord, Lord, be expanded in this hour, God. Your word says in Isaiah, Lord, Lord, that your government, Lord, shall not end, but it shall be ever increasing, God. So, God, I ask you, Lord, to forgive us, God, for laying down, Lord, your government and ruling body. That, Lord, we fell asleep, God, and allowed the enemy to come in, Lord, and take mountains from us, God. But I declare, God, over the seven mountains of influence, it's time, Father, Lord, for your bride to arise and take back everything the enemy tried to take, God. Let us take back those mountains, God. Let us take back the influence, God, for we are in the decade of the pay, God. Lord, the decade of the mouth, God. Lord, let us not be silent any longer. Let us not sleep any longer, God. But Lord, let us rise with the lion of the tribe of Judah. Let us begin to roar, God, for it is time, God, to let the roar of the lion again. Let us roar, Father Lord, in victory, God, for you have already provided the victory, God. God, I ask you, God, that you would stir up the praise, God. Lord, as Judah goes first, God, Lord, over the mountains, God, Lord, let us praise again. Lord, where the enemy has taken our joy, Father Lord, in our spirits, God, Lord, let laughter be restored over your body, Lord, a holy laughter over your body, God. Lord, that you would restore, Lord, those seasons, God. Lord, where the enemy, Father Lord, has come in, Lord, your word says in Jewel 2, before the great out pouring it says after this God and before that Lord it says Lord that you would restore the years God Lord the enemy is coming high and, and mighty Lord that he looks like lo- looks like a lion but Lord he has no teeth God for you have already made a spectacle of him God so God I ask you God stir it up in us God that we take back everything the enemy took Father Lord Lord for your word says when a thief is caught he has to pay back seven times God God God, you have called us to be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. We, you have called us to be blessed in the city, blessed coming in and blessed going out, that our offspring shall be blessed, God. Lord, it says, God, Lord, that when an enemy comes at you one way, he flees before you seven ways, God. And God, I ask you, God, now, God, that you would open the doors that no man can shut, God. Lord, that you would open up the opportunity, God. Lord, that there be no limits, God, for where you're taking VOE and ISO, Lord, and OCI God, God I declare God, no limits God, Lord every hindering spirit, I bind it now I declare that you have no right and no authority to hinder us and stop us but we are moving forward into your will Lord and what you want to accomplish God, God we will not be the generation that is passed by God but we will take our stand God, Lord as ambassadors for your kingdom God, Lord we will speak what you want spoken God 
God into the atmosphere. Lord, we will move how you want to move, God, for it's not about us, God. We, we die to ourselves, Lord. We sacrifice ourselves, and we say, have your way. Do what you want to do in our lives, but use us. Do not pass us by, but let us be the generation that rises in this hour for this time and this purpose, for this is the time in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I just feel led of the Holy Spirit to pray a little different way tonight than I don't think we've ever done it this way before. We've had every kind of prayer line and prayer giving that you can. But tonight, I just feel like the Lord wants you to lay hands on your own self. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by that in a moment. You know, one of the things that we have to learn in the body of Christ is how to stand up without, you know, it's great to have the body of Christ around us, but there's a time that we have to be able to stand on our own, anoint our own house, declare the devil gone. We have to learn how to evict the enemy from our own house. So I'm just going to pray some prayers that the Holy Spirit just put on my heart to pray. And as I pray these, I'm going to give you a very simple instruction. And if you need this prayer, uh, I want you to obey what, what the Lord has put on my heart for you to do. It's just, it's just very, very simple instructions and nothing, nothing that's going to be difficult for anybody. But as I pray these prayers, if you need these prayers, I want you to walk in obedience and let the Lord, let the Lord wash over you, wash his peace over you. And then um, uh, if you don't need these prayers, just keep praying for the needs that are on the screens if this is not for you. Here, here's the first prayer the Lord told me is the Lord told me to pray for people that are needing mental clarity. And this is what I'm seeing in my spirit. I'm seeing like a brain fog. I'm, I feel like your brain is kind of shut down and you're trying to think and you can't think. And it's just very difficult. Is, is that anybody in the room tonight besides me? I'm going to lay hands on my head for this one too. So is that anybody besides me? Then if that is you, I want you to take both hands. The Lord says take both hands and like put them over your face, put them over your eyes. That's, that's the way we're going to pray for this one. That is just a, I don't know why the Lord says do certain things a certain way, but that's just the act of obedience that I hear the Lord say him. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against any kind of attack of the mind, God, whether it be chemical or spiritual, or whether it be the stresses of life, the cares of this life. But Father, I ask for a release, God, a mental release in our minds. God, I speak clarity of thoughts. God, I come against people that are struggling to remember simple things that they they know, Lord, but simple things, God. So, God, I come against this ease of forgetfulness, God, this ease of, of confusion that comes over us, Lord. God, whatever is causing this brain fog, for whatever reason, God, if it's, if it's, if it's a part of a, our physiology, God, if it's something in our chemistry, God, if it's something in our spirit or something in our soul or just the stresses of life that are compounding upon us, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I command it to go. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing over the body of Christ. I pray that our minds will be clear in Jesus' name. Our thoughts will be clear in Jesus' name. So Lord, I pray, God, that you will lift that burden that they're feeling, God. God, I pray, God, that you'll begin to lift that weight, God. Some are feeling it on their shoulders. Lift it, Lord. Some are feeling it in the backs of their necks. Lift it. Lord. God, I feel, God, that some are feeling it at the bottom of their skull, God, in the back of their head, at the very bottom of their skull. There is tension there. In Jesus' name, re be released. In Jesus' name, be released so that you can walk with clarity and you can walk with focus in your heart. God, I pray, God, that focus will return. God, that memory will return. And God, that every person that is feeling this weighted down, this time toxicity of the mind. I come against it in Jesus' name and I declare healing, God, for all of us, God, in this room that are needing this, Father. God, sometimes we pray 
for others and it's the very medicine we need ourselves but Lord there is a bomb and Gilead and I proclaim God that he is here in this room right now the solution is in this room right now and God as we heard Tuesday night nothing is too hard for God so we we stake a claim there God we wrap our faith around that word and we receive it God that it doesn't matter what has caused it and how long it's been there in the name of Jesus I command it to go and I declare release of the mind release of the spirit in the body of Christ hallelujah father I receive that in Jesus name for every person I receive that and now I praise you for it Lord I praise you for clarity of thought I praise you God that the stress is lifting in the mighty name of Jesus and I glorify you and I praise you for that Lord hallelujah 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 now I want to pray another prayer and this is with your hands open if this is your prayer the Lord said this is with your hands open because one of the prayer one of the promises of God is that he would open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that you can't contain and now if you're not living in that blessing then I then you need to open your hands and say Lord I don't know what kind of blessing that's going to be for me it might be a financial breakthrough for some it may be relational breakthroughs for others but whatever the blessing is, I came into agreement when Gio was up here praying about having joy, your joy returning, having forgiveness in your heart and God cleanse your heart. I was listening to every word and, and I can't tell you, Gio, how many times I said, I come into agreement with that prayer. And then when Dustin began to pray over the warfares of our life, I kept, I kept finding myself saying, Lord, that's what's in my spirit. So what I'm telling you tonight is the Holy Spirit is leading this prayer according to what you need. So if you need the windows of heaven open, I just want you to open your hands like you're ready to receive. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, you said that you would pour out blessings. God, you said you would pour out blessings that we cannot contain. So God, I call on heaven's windows to open and pour out joy and pour out peace and pour out heaven's resources. God, I, I call in resources from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I pray, God, that you will open doors that no man can shut, that you will shut doors that no man can open. I declare, Father, in Jesus' name, God, that you will begin to open up the windows of heaven. God, I call finances into people's lives who are needing a financial breakthrough and a financial miracle. I call debts paid in Jesus' name. I speak that over them, God, that you are supernaturally, you will cancel debts in Jesus' name over their lives. Father, I pray, God, for the windows of heaven to pour out the blessing of victory. God, I sense that some people have been in a state of mourning way too long. They have suffered with depression way too long. The season has ended, declares the Lord. And I declare, God, that they will walk in victory. God, you said that there's a place that we can run and not be weary, that we can walk and not faint. So, God, I declare victory upon the body of Christ. God, the kind of victory that has a dance attached to it, the kind of victory that has a feast attached to it, the kind of victory that has the enemy's heads on the uh, on the on the on the chopping block attached to it father the kind of victory where chains break and prison doors open and captives are set free the kind of victory that brings jubilee and restoration to the hearts and the minds of God's people God, in the name of Jesus, I declare that joy is returning and peace is returning and love is returning. God, I speak to the brokenhearted tonight that love is returning. God, I speak to those who, whose enemies have come against them, God, that you are going to change the hearts of their enemies, Father. That you're going to heal the hearts of those who set their forehead against them. That you are going to heal their hearts and change their mind about vengeance in their lives, Father. I declare that in Jesus' name. I declare, Father, that the angels of the Lord are bringing victories, are bringing joy, are bringing finances. They are bringing the, the blessings from the windows of heaven. And God, we're not just asking for enough. We're asking for the Malachi blessing more than enough. 
God, you said I will pour out, open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings you cannot contain. So God, I pray, God, for blessings bigger than our expectations, for blessings bigger than our prayers, blessings bigger than our faith, God, where we join our faith with the word of God and more than enough is the, is the, is the answer to that prayer. So Lord, I call it in in Jesus' name. I call in houses. I call call in lands. I call in automobiles. I call in relationships in the name of Jesus. I call in canceled debts in the name of Jesus. And I declare, Father, that every hand that is open will be filled to overflowing, Father, in Jesus' name. God, that you will not just place blessings in their hand, but they will have enough to give away, enough joy to share, enough love to share, enough resources resources to share, Father, in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, I declare blessing over the body of Christ. Wash over them, Lord. I pray, God, that the confirmation of this blessing will be a spark of hope and joy in their heart. God, place it there right now in Jesus' name. God, that the confirmation that this blessing is here and this blessing is coming, God, that right now, Father, they will have a sense of hope and a sense of joy. Hope shows them that faith is there and, and joy shows them that the answer is there and that in your presence is the fullness of joy. I declare that over them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, Lord, we declare mental clarity. And, God, right now we declare that the resources of heaven are open, that the windows of heaven are open in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I just I hear the Lord saying in my spirit right now that, don't be surprised what resources he uses to bring this to you. That God used Pharaoh to make the children of Israel wealthy. That God used that God can use evil people and people in, in the in the world that have that don't even have their mind on God. God can take what is in their hand and put it in your hand. How many of you believe that God can take what's in the storehouse of the wicked and put it in the storehouse of the righteous? That's what I hear the Lord say right now. So don't limit his blessings to something that you already know or a person you already know. Don't limit his blessings. He may use the devil himself to bring that blessing, but the blessing will be from God. Hallelujah. If the Lord can call the king of Babylon his servant, if that's what the Lord calls the king of Babylon his servant, then every person breathing is his servant. Every person breathing can do the work of the Lord even if their mind is not on the Lord because he will make a way where there is no way and I declare that over your life in Jesus name hallelujah 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 we bless you Lord we bless you Lord we bless you Lord we bless you Lord hallelujah I know this last prayer is a strange prayer but I'm praying what he put in my spirit I feel like the Lord wants me to pray for angelic encounter and so if that's you, and if that is, now understand, angels don't always show up with halos and wings. Sometimes they show up looking like people. But if you are open to this, and you're ready for the Lord, now they may bring you a word, or they may bring you a blessing, but whatever they bring you when they leave, something is going to be left behind. That's what you know. God is going to leave something behind in the wake. So I just feel in my spirit to pray for angelic encounters. I'm going to pray it right now. Father, I pray God that seraphim and cherubim. I pray, God, that archangels will walk among us. I pray, Father, that we will see them in our dreams. We will see them in our visions. I pray, God, that you will begin to give us angelic encounters, God. God, I, I see angelic encounters in restaurants. I see them, God, as someone is getting in their car and a stranger on the road, God, is talking with them, God. God, in my spirit, God, I see someone sitting down beside of someone and starting a conversation understanding that the Lord is using that person as a witness to bring an angelic encounter God we will not limit what they look like we will not limit God if they come in the form of an old 
man or woman or a child, if they come in the form of a homeless person or a wealthy person, God, we will not limit, God, what you can do. So Lord, I declare in Jesus' name that like angels came to Sam to, to Samuel's parents and as angels came to Samson's parents and as angels came to, to Elizabeth and, and John the Baptist's parents, Father, as angels came to Jesus' parents, his, his mother and his earthly father, as angels came to them, some of those moments, they came in dreams. Some of those moments, they came in visions. And in some of those moments, they came in person. So Lord, let us be open to angelic encounters. And God, I feel you, I hear you saying it as a witness in my spirit. Pay attention to their words. Pay attention to their words. Write them down. Pay attention to their words, for they will be guides in your life. So, Lord, I declare right now that every word, every person that is open to an angelic encounter, Lord, that you will send them, God, myself included, Lord, I will be looking for that angel. I will be, Lord, they're all around us. God, there's thousands of them around us every day. God, it's not like you've got to send them from heaven. This room is already full of angels, God. Our homes are full of angels, God. Our church is full of angels, God. God, they're already there. God, you said they are ministering spirits to the body of Christ. God, you said that they encamp round about those who fear him and deliver them, Lord. So I declare, Father, that they will make themselves known. Hallelujah. That the veil will be lifted from our eyes, God, and they will make themselves known, God, and that we will realize that God loves us so much that not only did he send his only begotten son, but now he has sent a royal ambassador from heaven that has brought a blessing from the Lord into our lives. So Lord, I pray for mental clarity. God, I pray for open windows of blessing. And I pray for angelic encounters. And we give you glory and praise for it all. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Now if you've received those blessings, can you just praise the Lord right now for them? God, I receive those blessings in Jesus' name. I receive those blessings in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Father, I, I pray. We've been praying for winter for Warrior Fest, Father, but right now I pray for Warrior Fest. God, that as we pray through our prayer list tonight, I pray, God, for a holy gathering. I pray, God, for a divine encounter. I pray for a supernatural calling to come into that room, God, that you'll keep them safe on the way. God, that you'll fill them with your Holy Spirit and send them back out as missionaries in this world, God. Send them back out as royal ambassadors, as guardians of the sacred flames, God. Send them out, oh God, as a fire, God, into this world. That revival will begin to light all around this country. God, I call in revival in Jesus' name from the north, the south, the east, and the west. God, I pray for the greatest prophetic summit encounter we have ever witnessed, Father. God, I pray for main event to be a supernatural natural encounter that we will tell our grandchildren about, Lord. God, let this be a year ordained by God. God, we declare, God, that this year of 2024 is the year, God, that you will take us through open doors and blessings. God, this is a new season, and we declare it. It is a blessed season. It is a blessed season, Father. So, God, we walk into blessings. We walk toward your blessings. God, give us more souls and a greater harvest than we've ever seen. God, I pray for the one million soul initiative at ISO that you'll give us one million plus souls, Father. God, that they will come in from all the, across the globe. God, that the entire world will be affected by what is going to happen, God, through this one million soul initiative. We bless you and we praise you and we declare your goodness goes 
before us. Your mercy goes behind us. Your grace is with us in every moment of our life. So if God be for us, who can be against us, God? We are going forward in Jesus' name. So God, I declare to the marching body of Christ, forward march. I declare to the, to the prayer warriors of God to lift up your head, O oh, ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, for the King of glory is coming. Hallelujah. Get ready for victory. Get ready for Zion. Get ready for Jesus. Hallelujah. We declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Hallelujah. 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 We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Now listen, we don't close down the Global Prayer Center. You can just pray as long as you want. And so we're going to keep playing music. We're going to allow you to just stay and pray as long as you want. But I want to bless you before you leave God's house. So in the way the high priest would bless the people of God, may the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom. Let the peace of God flood your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us today here at the Global Prayer Center where we are you as we pray for the world, the country, and many other prayer requests that come into us each week. If you would like to be a partner with us or help us in this task, we have a way that you can give. You can go to perrystone.org and donate there. Or here on your screens, there is a place where you can give, and that will help to continue to support the Global Prayer Center. It helps take care of the cost of the facility, the staff, and all of the live streaming so that we can continue to bring this to you and to the nations every single week. Thank you for joining one of the largest and most powerful prayer meetings in the world today. Thank you for being a part of this. God bless you, and we love you.